welcome back guys so in this video i'm going to show you how you can install ubuntu web os on dual boot so visit this, this website and from the download section you can download this iso image for the ubuntu web os i think it's also known as web remix os but um, i can see only web os so it starts downloaders directly and then you can copy this downloaded iso into the event via uh, the usb i'll leave a link to how to make this bootable usb it's very easy it just hardly takes a minute and uh, after you have copied it you need to go to your search and search for partition and when you open up uh, you need to create a partition so I, you can see i've already created a 20 gb partition for my os and you can just create by shrinking your current D drive and make uh, at least 20 GB and it will be good if you also create a 500 MB extra an additional partition it helps in uh, creating boot image or sometimes you need that so also create an additional 500 MB partition and also make sure you have your secure boot disabled from your BIOS menu then we can finally restart our device into the OS so go to your boot device options and then select the USB drive and then select the downloaded ISO the Ubuntu Wave 1 and then just click enter and you will boot into the Ubuntu Web and this is the Ubuntu now we need to install it so we'll click on install and select you can select your language and keyboard layout and then you can select the can connect to Wi-Fi and uh, which version you want to install I'm gonna go for the normal one you can also choose to install additional drivers here you, you need to select something else to install in dual boot and then hit continue and then choose your drive so you can find your drive by the amount of storage you created so mine is 20 about 22 or 23 gb and then just click on that and then click on the uh, you can see click on change and then um, keep the partition as xt4 and the amount will be just the root the first option on the forward slash this will be your primary uh, partition and then you need to create an additional so your 500 MB now you can just format is as XT4 click on change XT4 and mount would be as boot then hit on OK and then click on install and it will ask for a confirmation you can see it has selected the drive and it will ask for confirmation you can go ahead and click on install it will format it and the installation will begin uh, before that you, are, uh, you need to select your region and time um, click create a username and a password as well so it will help you when it boots first time you can just log in directly so create a password then continue and finally the installation has begun um, it's gonna take a while so yes and after that it could it it may not but you could show this error 
so you need to actually restart and uh, when you try to restart it may not happen to you but it will show something like this so you need to force restart like uh, turn your device off and then go to your boot device options and then select the ubuntu boot manager you will see this boot manager after it has installed you will see this and then just click the first option and it will boot into the ubuntu i'll create a separate video on how to fix this error so you will always see the uh, the dual boot option um i'll create an another video because this will make the video very long and so yeah i will be coming up with that so now we have booted into ubuntu you can see this and it's very similar to ubuntu os but there are some difference um majorly the web os so firefox is running all the apps if you see there are a lot of additional apps the cloud ones first if you go to the settings you will see the these are very similar um, if you tried ubuntu i have created a video on ubuntu as well so you can check that out you can see the information of our device so i do not have any graphics this is intel i5 and 8 gb ram and wi-fi and everything is working so i have no issues before very similar to ubuntu you can see so there are some additional wallpapers and uh, you can see just click on it and it changes this is the ubuntu web wallpaper and all the other similar options applications and you can create and add multiple accounts all the sound options your battery the user and yes that's for the settings these are the kind of the web apps you can install directly and it works like the chrome os if you have used these are some web apps so if you try this mine sweeper um, you can just install it it will save the file and uh, if you go to your file i can go to this run web apps and you can just directly run it from here and just put in your password and it will install this is the method of how you can just install any web app that is in the store and you can see the minesweeper um, the logo you can see it has been installed and this is the minesweeper i really don't know how to play this i've never played it before and similarly you can download uh, telegram i have already downloaded and installed telegram this is the weather app this is also a web app See, telegram is also web app um it loads up and shows the qr code and you can just uh, using your phone or your phone number you can just uh, log in to your telegram account this is really something new and uh, it uh, it's pretty good you can it kinds of uh, uh, gives you an alternative to the linux applications you can of course install linux applications using the terminal uh, i've not seen any store option to install the apps these are all the e-cloud apps so you need to create an uh, uh, your like uh, 
account on eCloud and then sign in and you can use all these apps you have a very limited storage of 1 GB and you can use all this and they will be synced to your eCloud account you have all these tasks and calendar and notes different apps under eCloud and they are all synced up so you can use it uh, via cloud the storage is very limited that I've seen so these are all the apps that you get under the eCloud. This is also part of Ubuntu web. You have your email app as well. So, and to have like get more storage, you need to pay a premium price. These are all the countries that it is available in. And the prices are shown as well. There is no India for my country, so you can see the prices. I don't see a reason of subscribing to any of this plan. Where you have Google Drive, and this is the Firefox browser that runs everything. Firefox browser is kind of always pre installed in most of the Linux. This is the cloud website. You have to make an account on this one, then you can use those apps that I showed. And there are a lot of apps, but most, most of them are web apps. And this is the updater. If you want to check for any updates for your uh, the OS, it will show it. Then you have calculator and very uh, simple apps. You have multiple like terminal apps. I don't know. This is the CPU monitor. So if you want to monitor your resources and uh, performance, you can do it from here. This is the terminal app you have two additional terminal as well and all of them works you can see it so you can install linux applications very easily from this terminal no issues there so if you're already using ubuntu you do not need to use this but if you want ubuntu with some uh, web apps if you want really that you can definitely use it and that was it and I'll see you in the next one.